Arunachal Pradesh, the land of Downed Mountains, the land of rising sun of India, is situated in the northern part of India. There are eight states in northeast India, out of which Arunachal Pradesh is the largest state. Bounded by Bhutan, China, and Myanmar in west, north, and south, respectively, it is the border of the state of India. There are 26 major tribes in Arunachal Pradesh, namely Mompa, Nisi, Apatani, Tagin, Galo, Adi, Minyam, Idu, Khamti, Nokta, Wancho, etc. Tagin people are one of the principal tribes that reside in upper and central parts of upper Subhansipur district of Arunachal Pradesh. Tagins believe themselves to be the descendant of Abutani, which according to them was the first human on the earth. It is through Abutani that Tagins had their traditional culture that passed on to the present from the generation to generations. In the matter of birth ritual, Tagins has its own system. It all starts from marriage where two souls and body agrees to join to continue the cycle of birth in this world. The first sign of pregnancy is seen in a similar way like others. It is a time when family members find out that the child is being conceived. A moment of happiness, yet a moment to understand the questions to follow too, according to the traditional rituals. When the lady is pregnant, the husband is advised to avoid hunting, killing of any living beings and not cut down any big trees. He should not participate in funeral and fencing wars. He is supposed not to bind anything. According to the traditional belief, all the living beings are created by the almighty Don Polo, and hence all possess divine soul. Any harm to them may harm the coming baby. The wrapping is not advised because it is believed that if the father ties up something, then it will cause the baby to tie up also. The wife, the pregnant lady, is also advised not to go to the wild forest, rivers, marshland, and near the funeral because the evil called Nepo may harm her and the coming baby. <laughs>
When the pregnancy process 5 to 7 months, parents will be required to check the condition of the baby inside the womb. Therefore, they call the priest called Nyebo or Nyikyok to check the condition of the coming baby. The priest requires chicks to perform the test. With the help of chicks' liver, the liver reading experts tells about the status of baby and also can determine the possible gender of the baby. During the time of laboring as a child is about to come, the relative also flock in to provide a help in need. The relative sometimes is asked to bring fresh water from the breast stream so that the new baby could be cleaned with it. The umbilical cord cutting tool called talum is also prepared with the bamboo press or old. All births are done naturally with the help of experienced women acting as a midwife. The males are not allowed to enter into the child delivery place. The relative woman helps the woman in labor pain. A rope is planted by the side so that the pores for the delivery can be managed. When the child is born, the woman calls, My child, my child. They say it to obstruct the evil from owning the newborn baby. As the baby has been born, the parent sacrifices a chicken so that the mother of a newborn baby may have soup of the chicken to replenish her body. It is called Chinchi Parok. <laughs>
three to five days later when the umbilical cord detaches, a special ceremony is done which is called as nalum. In this ceremony, the relatives are called and a special piercing is made. This is the time when priests also come and do special ritual, where he chooses the best name as suggested by the parents by doing chanting. After the name has been given, the relatives offer gifts to the newborn baby, which includes ornaments, and thus they bless the baby for a long, healthy and prosperous life. ตะปอตะลอเตนาลูเดเลบุจิชาปากะโกลอมาเดเลบุจิเบดุกุบะอตายอเกตะเดนสะนาเปงโกเตบุจกะจุกโกปุปุมเนเลกะบะนาคิโ